Welcome to AHA, a human among humans. We have Anthony Donahoe. We will be reading from my new book, second edition, Verse to Better, this half hour. And then the next half hour, we're saving the best for last. We're, we're re reading and talking about Tony's new book, which is called? Uh, Confessions of a Sperm Donor. Yes. Wow. And we can handle that in Cambridge. And we have in our audience, can I use your name? Or would you? Sarah. We have Sarah in our audience Sarah. to give us more insight. So I'd like Tony to... <laughs> to um, okay, so, um, so we're going to take a look at your book. Yes. I guess we'll just open it up. Tell them the name. The name is Verse to Better, a poem for each day of our, our year. Yeah. Uh, good. So I'm just going to open it up. Yep, yep, and read it. I'm going to read it. Okay, and then I'm going to. We'll do something with that. Pick we might. your birthday. What's that? Pick your birthday first. Oh no, that's a tough one. I know. I already did this with that. My birthday, so I'm, I'm not going. So pets through wolves' clothing. Love for my demons. Demons. Love for my demons. Dream them to become black labs. Who fetch just for fun. Wow. Let me just do that one more time. Yeah. I, I just say demons. I spelled it wrong. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a different meaning. It's an interesting meaning. Uh, uh, pets through wolves' clothing. Look for my demon. Love. Oh, I'm sorry. You may have to use my glasses, I guess. Yes, but... you can. I, I will. You want to read it? I'll okay. read it, but you can get your glasses. I not want to lose this audience. <laughs> pets. Pets to wolves' clothing, love for my demons, dream them to become black labs who fetch just for fun. Wow, Michael. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, what do you, what, uh, where did you write that from? What, where brought that on? Um, I rewrote it too. That the new version is pets. Oh, never mind. I wrote it because when I love my demons, let's imagine you're a demon. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yes. So if you're a demon, yeah, here to hurt me. Yeah. Scream at me. Ah, yeah. Want to kill me. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah, you got it. Yes. Um, and what other way? How would you do it? Just kind of get something and bang your head against the wall and. I've done it. The joy of just. You know, yes, fighting you and I had a, an axe cut my neck off in my mind. Did you for years? Everyone's got their hobbies. I mean, you know. So we're pretty much into the demon territory right now. The way we're talking, right? Yes. Well, I think we might be channeling. It doesn't take. It's not hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm loving these, but if I instead of fighting them, because mm. the axe that wanted to chop my neck off. Was my dad was a fireman. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And I remember when I was six years old, and he would, I was lucky as a kid, he would take me on his fire engine mm -hmm. with the whole fire company, and we go to a, <clears throat> a field that was just brush, mm -hmm. and it was burning. Burning? Yeah. A burning brush? Burning brush, yeah. Burning bushes, actually. Okay. No wonder I got into God. Mm. burning bushes and there was a big axe on the side of the fire engine right. and I don't remember this but I imagine they took the axe and sometimes they cut the brush that was in the path of the fire oh. so it would be poor fire would have nothing to burn mm. mm -hmm. we can feel let's just have a moment of just feeling for the fire how would you feel like it mm. if you had no food so I, is that an image? You made that? That's real? That's real. real. Okay. And, um... But the axe, sorry, a little yeah, bit more, right. that was cutting my head off mm -hmm. was really a gift. Because you knew me well. Because you overthink things? I overthink things. Yeah. And my psyche was saying, get out of your head, into your heart, and love Sarah. Mm. That, was, that was the basic message for um, my... Teens, twenties, and thirties, and then, <laughs> and now I can. Right. And now I can. Yeah, and even you, I can love. Thank you. 
Even I though, mean, you know, even, even though you were a demon in a moment ago. Yeah. And so when I love them, they I, they they can be very helpful to me, mm -hmm. like friendly black lads. Right. And we're just having a good time. Mm -hmm. And I change this to say who fetch wisdom for fun. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, uh, can I read another one? Why don't we read one, read one more time in your great way? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna use this. Um, the pet. Pet. Do yourself. Which one? The pets through wolves' clothing, love for my demons, dream them to become black labs who fetch just for fun. Or who fetch wisdom for fun. Oh, that's the addition you're putting in? Yeah, yeah. Who fetch wisdom for fun. I'm going to go to the one next to us, okay? You, I would like you finally to be yourself. Which one? Mm -hmm. You said I that before. Well, that, no, another self said that. <laughs> oh, okay. This was the next two, two, <laughs> two selves down. Set it back, you know, I just got to... We have it. a show. You can see it on YouTube. Really? Um, 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 am I out of here? Oh, you, can you move a little bit to the right there? I think yes. I'm squeak. Yes. Yeah. Coming off the cliff here. Yeah. I give up. Where, where, whenever I die, burning to turn earth, water, sky, new bodied, I fly. Ooh, wow. I give up. Where, whenever I die, burning to turn. Earth, water, sky, new bodied, I fly. Wow, beautiful. Well, oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Tony. I don't even want to mess with this poem. And he doesn't. He's not usually like this, as you've noticed already. <laughs> to have a moment where he says that. Can I read it once, or we would only want to? Well, do if you want. No, never mind. No, you don't want me to. I think we just just yeah. give it up. Just so, give yeah, it up. Give it up. Yes, that's what it says. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. uh, certain titles I don't go for. Um, so this is the discriminating choice. We're not just getting any old poem. Yeah, I'm not going to read, through us will be blessed all families on earth. You don't like that. Families? It's such a cliche word, word right? Fam family? Yeah, it's been done. <laughs> like we're still around, we're still using that whole concept. Families are just familiars. Confessions of a sperm donor. <laughs> wow. Good point, good point. Say it loud. You're welcome to come on here, too. You yeah, you want to come, come on and come off the show. When you have something to say, you can come between us and we'll hug you. Okay. Mm. Right now. <laughs> or not hug you, depending on what you're into. <laughs> I'm, just, um, I'm just thinking about some poems I haven't seen before, and... Uh, This one, this is kind of true about relationship. Oh, the title is different, so um, you may read this. I, you may read this since it's your poem. Pretense, dispense, defense, pretense. Oh, sorry, presence, dispense, defense, pretense. When you're far away, I know you're divine. When you're here, I pray, I still feel you're fine. Okay, so it's yeah, so when you're far away, I know you're divine. When you're here, I pray. I still feel you're fine. It seemed like that was pushing it, like, it's easy if they're far away. Yes. Easy to love. I love you from far. Sarah, I love you, I love you, I love you. We don't live together. It's so easy to love you and see you're divine. <laughs> That's great. And so you want to play with this one? Or you want to say more about that? I, I, love, what, I love what you're saying, yes. Okay. And again, you have invited a... Speaks for Try it on whenever you... Uh, missing blessing. You see, we're getting these censored, which is you, or you and the audience are, are blessed because you're not getting any old poem, only if they pass through Anthony Donahoe's... Is that you? How do you pronounce your last name? Yeah, that's good enough. He's very open. Yeah. I mean, how many of us would say you can pronounce my last name? Like... I won't even pretend to play with the last name of Sarah because we're keeping her last name as the mystery guest. 
Um, do you ever take a poem you want to hear? Oh, Sarah, when's your birthday? Uh, I June. read mine. I read mine last. Oh, well, let's do it again. Let's okay, do it. July eighth. July eighth. You were close. Oh, so oh. July eighth. It's your number, huh? July. Oh, it's cross. Yeah, it's set up there. Pet. Oh, we did that. That was you. Wait, the pet one is July eighth. Yeah, pets <laughs> through wolves clothing. That's no, that's so yes, yeah, that's July eighth. Oh, that's so funny. Wow. That is one. That's one you opened. Too. Yeah. All right. When's your birthday? November eighth. But I don't want to do that one. All right. When's your birthday? March first. Let's March do first. March first. March first. Thank you. You know what? I'll do my conception date next. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> we can do yours too. February eighth. Yeah. Okay, so March eighth. March first. Uh, March first. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm stuck on eight. Sorry. Yeah. I know. Subjective. Yeah. Narcissistic, subjective. The whole Although world. the funny thing is, it's actually ten months. I learned that from my friends who've had kids. It's not nine months. It's ten months of gestation. No. Really? Yeah, is that wild? I don't think that's true. You want to come on the show and explain that? Um, it's uh, I, my coworker who just had a baby. Um, come on, come on. She, come okay, over. so what is it? Nine months times we're 36. They don't want the baby to come out before. Um, they don't want, all right, all right, I'll get in the middle. Mm -hmm. So it's not safe for the child to come out before 36 weeks, which is nine months. Ideally, they wanted to make 38 weeks. Really? And 40 is fine, too. Oh. So, yeah, it's but most, actually most, 10 months. But most children come out in nine months. Nine and a half 30, months. 38 weeks was what I was told. Which oh, would really? baffled me. I so had nine no and idea. Half. So really, they want nine and a half months in the mom. So we can mm. figure it out. Yeah, so your gestation, I would make it 10 months. Or no, we'll do nine and a half and do it properly. Yeah, yeah nine and a half. <laughs> yeah. It's, I know. <laughs> All right, March 1st for Michael. Burning bright in the night. You must have put this good poem here. I did. I've, I have a much fiercer scream for my dreams than I dreamed. Burning bright in the night. I have a much sorry. I have a much fiercer scream for my dreams than I dreamed. Mm. What do you make of that? <laughs> What do you make of that? The things I dream. The axe. Huh? What? The axe. No. To the screen, no. Oh no, the things I want. Okay. Love, but writing a book, writing this book, having close friends, health, good place to live, way good relationships with friends when there's difficulties. I want it much more than I'm willing to admit. Way more. And I really wanted to finish this book. I wanted it to be as, I, well, I wanted it to be great. Um, it's great that it's done. It's better than I dreamed. It might not be win the Nobel Prize. I might have to be disappointed. Some part of me wants that. Someone asked me, what did I want people to do for my books? And I'm a little, Maybe ashamed is the word, but my last name is Koran. I wanted people to read the book year after year after year after year, the way they read the Koran and the Bible. So that's that's a fierce dream. That's embarrassing. Mm, no, it's great. It's audacious. Mm. I said it on television. Jeez. Thank you. I'm going to go. I'm skipping my other agenda. Uh, so, temper, temper. Mm. Temper, temper. Smile, breaking through screams. Soothe inner child's tantrum. Again, again, again. Temper, temper. Smile, breaking through screams. Soothe inner child's tantrum. Again, again, again. So unpack this one. Well, I think I'm asking, smile when your heart is breaking. This, if I can smile, 
even maybe falsely. And then it can turn true. So when I'm having my tantrums, I'm hoping, asking my psyche, please break through these tantrum screams with a smile again and again and again. Rumi says, I'm learning this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can learn this too. Who knows? Yes, and maybe Sarah too. <clears throat> Rumi says, and he wouldn't lie to us, he's a famous poet. Um, Rumi says, being human is a guest house. You know this with all yeah. yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Every morning a new arrival. Mm. See, I'm competing with Rumi now. Greet them at the door laughing, even if they're a depression, a sorrow that sweeps your house of all its furniture. Still, each, the, each feeling or thought that comes is sent as a messenger from beyond. Greet them at the door laughing. And so I'm finally learning, I hope this communicates to you and you, whatever feelings and thoughts come, if we're quick enough, like, you know, through meditation, oh, here comes depression, hi there. <laughs> here comes anger, here comes the temper tantrum, hello, 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 what do you have to teach me? So I guess the, the way to communicate it wouldn't be through words, it would be through sensing the emotion. Like, it's almost like you could ask the question, what am I afraid of feeling now? I'm afraid of feeling overwhelmed. I'm afraid of feeling like I don't know what I'm going to do next. Or, Beautiful. Yeah. And then go ahead and, and then having, greeting them like the, yeah. as you were saying, yeah, just saying, okay. But they come sometimes without just, I'm at a park, I just kind of picnic. Right. In my park, I create it every year. People come with children and married and, and I, want to greet them, and all of a sudden I feel so sad and lonely. Really? And this time I, I worked it through, I got behind the ice cream stand. There was some ice cream brought and started eating it, which I usually don't, mango and chocolate chip from Trader Joe's. And while eating the ice cream with the sugar high, mm -hmm. when families with children came by, mm -hmm. I could say to one couple who had a 16-month-old child, that's, what a beautiful child. And, and I, I could really, I said, I really can appreciate it, appreciate him even more because I don't have any children. And she said, they've done studies and the average amount of sleep a parent lose, loses the first two years of a child's um, life is six months lost of sleep. Wow. So I was good. I, I turned my jealousy and envy and loneliness into appreciation of this child and realized that it felt better. I couldn't. Mm. I needed the ice cream too if I was eating. Mm. That helped. I, I, I forget how this is related to the poem now. Yeah, what's the poem? Oh, again? smile through my tantrum. Temper, here. temper. So you tempered your feeling with a little sweetness, your yeah. bitter sweetness with some sweetness. Yeah and you appreciated the child. The, put the focus on appreciation rather than putting yourself down or feeling isolated. And then I got my karma. My, my friend's son, who's very lonely, called and wanted to talk for three hours about how angry he was at his father. Oh, really? I, so I just talked with him. Okay. What does this mean? Uh, oh, infinity. The difference between giving 99 or one hundred percent. Oh, do you mean versus versus or? No, I mean what I wrote. The differences between so infinity. Mm -hmm. The difference between giving ninety nine or one hundred percent. Can you say what that means? So if I give myself to our friendship, or my present roommate was challenging friendship, and if I give a hundred. Are you listening to this show tonight? No. If I give myself 100%, I'm not sure I'm good at this, I know it's true. Mm -hmm. If I give myself, I might never have done this either. If I give myself 
to making it work, the relationship, friendships, poetry books, then I can feel an infinite energy, an unending energy come and help me. Really? Yeah. So in the moment, if you put all your intention into it? And all of it, yes, which is hard for me. And I'm not even sure now that I'm telling you this, is it true? <laughs> Is it true? So it's like in a focused moment, you would, it's not like an ongoing thing. It's just that you, you choose to put it all into it, whatever you're doing in the moment. I think I do this with my friends. Okay. Regardless, or the or people I love. It takes different forms, but yeah. if, I'm all, if I dive in with all I've got, mm -hmm. all the time, you know, depending on what I can do, mm -hmm. it feels so different than wondering Oh, should I be your friend? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, hugely different. You're my blooming friend, whether I like it or not. <laughs> and I mean, I'm free to say, you know, please call me once a year, whatever works. But yeah, yeah. you, we have connected. You don't feel like you, some of your friends take advantage of you? Um, I'm pretty good at saying no. I could be better. My, mm -hmm. my close friend Michelle thinks I could be way better. She gives me a kiss when I say no. Right. Okay. So I might, I might not be as good as you would say no. So she eroticizes the word no with a kiss. Yeah. What kind of kiss? Uh, on the forehead now that we're oh. loving friends. Before on the lips. <laughs> Sometimes maybe on the lips too even. Like now. a priestly kiss. Uh, it has much more <laughs> from Michelle. The more, best, more temperature? Best kisser I've ever known. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, I used to be quiet a bit, but we still can kiss on the forehead, on the cheeks. What poem are you afraid of in here? Maybe that one. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, what am I afraid of? Which poem in here are you afraid of, kind of? I don't know. Okay. If you pick them, each one you pick, I can be afraid of. If I mean. Evil or people? Go for it. I don't know. Um, I haven't read it. So, evil upheaval, when conceived, birthed. Birthed. Birth, sorry. I've no love, worth, folks emptied me, sucked ecstasy. I needed care, with none to share. So, love, when here, brought too much fear. Till my trembling, shaking me free, sees fair, just awe of thee and me. She's... Mm, uh, can I read it too? Yeah, can I just give... Take, take, yeah, go take, for it, yes, yeah, thank you for not agreeing with me. It's a lot going I'll on. give you a kiss in the forehead for saying no. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, that's great. Uh, evil upheaval, when conceived, birth, I've no love, worth, folks emptied me, sucked ecstasy, I needed care, with none to share. So love, when here, brought too much fear. Till my trembling, shaking me free, sees, fears, just awe of thee and me. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay, I get it the second time around. Well, beautiful. Was that clear, Sarah, or is it too hard to get from afar? You know, read it one more time, if you don't mind. May I read it this yeah. time? Yes. Okay. Evil upheaval. When conceived. Birth. I've no love. Worth. Folks emptied me. Sucked to ecstasy. I needed care with none to share. So love, when here, brought too much fear. Till my trembling, shaking me free, sees fears just awe of thee and me. Beautiful, Michael. Sounds like Shakespearean. Oh. Your beat on that. Wow. We only have a minute. 
Man left. Yeah. T tell me about that poem. What inspired it? You would understand. Sarah wants me to tell us what inspired it. My life, I felt um, when I was born, my parents force fed me. They sucked whatever joy I had even out of eating. It was a horrible thing, you know, forcing food down my mouth. So I discovered when I grew up, <laughs> supposedly, that I needed so much care from loving women like you and loving men like you, but I really didn't have any to give. And I was so afraid to see that, afraid to see who I am, needing care with none to give, needing love with none to give, until in my shuddering, I discovered that my fears really awe.